There's no doubt Scotland's a bonny country. But when I was a lad, it was a dangerous one. That was early in the 18th century, just after the English put George I on the throne and the Stuarts lost their crown forever. Noblemen fought each other to win the new king's favour and brigands roamed the countryside, ready to take your money or your life, or both. But let me introduce myself. I'm Colin McAllister. Uh, that's me there, the handsome young fellow playing the chanter. Uh, that's my sister, Una. <laughs> She's not too bad. What a girl. And that's Loch Lomond you can see over there. <laughs> Just look at them. Two wee beams in that lovely herd of cattle. You think we're men enough to take that off them? <laughs> so you've been looking after me cattle, eh? Very good, are you? They're not yours. They are now. I <laughs> know oh, you, you're Duncan McCrae. You touch one head of those cattle and you'll feel the thrust of Rob Roy's claymore. <laughs> oh, look, you drop your chanter. Pick it up, lad. <gasps> oh, did I accidentally break it? Rob Roy gave that to me and he'll make you pay for it. Rob Roy's far away in the North Country. And anyway, you'll not be telling him who took the cattle, will you now? Course we'll tell him. You'll not have a moment's peace, Duncan McCrae. Oh, oh, I know I can trust you to keep your mouth shut, because I'm going to shut them for you. <laughs> <laughs> run, Luna, run. Fetch the McGregors as fast as you can. Oh, Colin, take care. Duncan McRae attacking unarmed children takes real courage. <laughs> I knew you were hiding there, by me, Dragon. Just wanted to draw you out so I could finish you off. Now, look out, Rob! Oh. Ah. Mm. McGregor, McGregor! Rob, why, McGregor? McGregor, McGregor! It's lovely weather for this time of year, don't you think, Amy? Aye, Rob, it is a threat. <laughs> what do you think, McCree? Doesn't this bonny weather make you feel good just to be alive? Ah, All right, you two, on your feet and over with the rest. Are quick about it. Ah, Snivelling McCrae's, off with your footwear. <laughs> oh, away! What's that dreadful stench? Throw them in the river, Colin. Oh, you'll kill the poo wee fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you, McCrae's, ever wash? <laughs> All right, you villains. Face the rock with your hands behind your backs. Tie their hands, children. What with, Rob? Use their belts. If I ever catch any of you near here again, you'll sing Old Lang Syne for the last time. Do you understand? <laughs> it's 
It's a pity you've no respect for the pipes. Fancy crushing the lads, Chanta, with your great clumsy hooves. Perhaps this'll teach you some manners. <laughs> Enjoy your bath, McLean. You need a good scrub. Watch out for the waterfall. <laughs> since last night. Don't argue with me, soldier. Stuart, isn't it? James Stuart? Uh, yes, sir. No, sir. That is, I am Stuart, but I wasn't arguing. Just... I've no time to waste with you. His grace, the Duke of Montrose, awaits me. You're a fine a month's pay. Now stand guard! <laughs> Graham of Killern here, Your Grace. Enter. You have the gold of the clans? Aye, Your Grace. All locked safely in the bullion wagon, under guard in the inner stables. I have the only keys. Give me them. Good. When the time comes, we'll send the king his uh, <laughs> share. What are you going to do about the Duke of Argyle? I don't know. His family, the Campbells and mine, the Grahams, have been enemies for generations. When King George makes him chief minister for Scotland, he'll be collecting the taxes. Aye, which means he'll soon find out how much we've been keeping to cover expenses. Can't you turn the king against him? What do you think I've been working at, man? What if we could prove that Argyle's plotting against his majesty? <laughs> Impossible! Not if we had Rob Roy testify against him. Don't be stupid. The Red MacGregor had never betray his friend the Campbell. His own mither was one. That's why the king would believe him. Every man has his price. <laughs> Not Rob Roy. Perhaps he'll do it for nothing. Just a wee loan that'd be repaid with interest. Ah. Uh. You've a plan in that sneaky head of yours, eh, Killairn? Aye, Your Grace, I do with that. And it involves a man, Bruce MacDonald. MacDonald? Never! He's Rob Roy's friend and chief drover. Yes, and his young brother's down in your dungeon right this very minute. Poaching deer was his crime, I recall. <laughs> Gregor, here's my hand on it. And here's mine, Your Grace. So now, His Grace, the Duke will invest £1,000 in your skill in buying and selling cattle. As soon as we've completed the paperwork. What paperwork? I've given my hand on it. I can that, Robbie, but... Well, we've just got to keep up with the times. Oh, sign the silly wee bit of paper and be done with it. <laughs> My home, my house and land that invest Ned, it's only a security, McGregor. His grace doesn't want your poor house. <laughs> he already has this fine castle and a grand house in Glasgow. And don't forget, Robbie, half the profit's yours. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs>
And how's Bruce MacDonald this bonny morning? Uh, good day to you, Rob. I've been expecting you. Do come in. Congratulations. So, you've gone into partnership with His Grace, the Duke of Montrose. We have, Bruce. And since it's his money, I suppose we can trust him. Now, I want you to take the money and head up to Inverness. You can all Angus McFay. Aye, that I do. He's got a great herd of fine beef and a desperate shortage of money. We'll take the lot. Now, Rob, this is all the Duke's money, not a penny of your own. That's the only way I'd ever go into business with that scheming miser. But half the profit will be ours. Why? What's worrying you? Oh, nothing. Now, I'll follow in a couple of days with the rest of the men to drive the cattle down to the lowlands. This is just the chance we've been waiting for, isn't it? Aye, it's an opportunity not to be missed, right enough. What's the matter, man? Cheer up! We're going to get rich! Now, where's my brother? Take this and go to Glasgow for a few days. Enjoy yourself like a rich man. Make sure folks know who you are. Then disappear. Get out of Scotland before Rob Roy finds you, and don't come back. Or I'll be after you too. Where's my brother? Send me a letter from London, and I'll set him free. You have my word on it. <laughs> Right, let's be on our way to drive the cattle down to the lowlands. Consequences. If there's a man among you, come down and meet a better one. Careful, Rob. Take cover. On your feet, men. <laughs> Alpine, play us a tune. Oh, goodness me, men, look. It's his grace, the Duke of Argyle. If I'd known, I'd have been more respectful. I have to admit, Rob, there's no falling you. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little poaching, Your Grace. This is Montrose country. Poaching, MacGregor? Nonsense. This is one of my beasts. Just chased it over the boundary. Oh, and doesn't that happen to us all the time, Hamish? <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well for you, Rob. Oh, they're getting better, no doubt about it. As kind of you to ask. Thought they must be after seeing your man MacDonald enjoying the fruits of his labour in Glasgow. Indeed, things must be a lot better. <laughs> Your Grace. Do you not know how to knock, man? Sorry. Thought you'd want to know. Rob Roy's returned from Glasgow and come to report the loss of your money. Ah, so my plan's working. Show him in and leave us. I'll talk to him man to man. Never! That's treachery! <laughs> And McGregor never betrays his friends. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. You're looking tired. Did you get your pay, dear? Oh. <laughs> What's the matter, Mrs. Stewart? Graham of Killearn told me if we don't pay our rent today, we'll be evicted and lose our lease. Well, now, Jamie's in the Duke's service. Have you no money? Killearn fined me my first month's pay. 
Oh, he's an evil man. What, what can we do? Here, this old fair you rent. But I don't know when I can repay you. Don't worry. Callan will do that for you. <laughs> He'll be very pleased, I'm sure. <laughs> to be all here. Of course it is. Now I'll have my receipt if you please. trouble you've caused me. You need a lesson in Christianity, for you're a hard and bitter man. The holy waters of this pool, blessed by the good St. Philip, are said to possess amazing powers for curing madness. You can that, don't you? So you can with just helping the poor man. He'd have to be mad to be so heartless, would he not? Would it not indeed? is looking better. Oh, I don't know, Rob. Well, let's ask his men. Do you think he should get down again for his own good? I never thought Galan's men had cared so much for his health. So to be sure of a cure, we'll dip him again. <laughs> The time has come to execute your deed over the MacGregor's property. Rob Roy must be taught a lesson. Uh, uh, that, that might be difficult with 300 or more of his clan around him. I'll find a way. <laughs> My husband's not here. What a pity. I have a warrant for his arrest. And a deed to confiscate all his property. Why? To compensate his grace for the money your thieving husband stole. You're a liar. He's never stolen a thing in his life and you know it. You'd never dare speak like that in his presence. You're only brave before women and we bairns. Search every house. Take everything of value. Then burn the village. No, no.
my way here. Oh. Our homes are destroyed, and I've been declared an outlaw because of the treachery of His Grace, the Duke of Montrose. Yeah. Let's march on Mugduck Castle and burn it to the ground. Oh. Aye, that's just what I feel like doing. But then King George had send an army of redcoats and turn the Highlands into a bloodbath. Yeah. Oh. But Montrose shall pay for his crimes. We'll live of his lands better than we've ever lived before. Ork, he'll know the wrath of the McGregors. <laughs> we've many friends who shelter our women and children. And we'll all feast on the Duke's cattle. Aye, tis going to be a grand winter for the Clan Gregor! <laughs> Wait, I have a message from Jamie. Tell Rob the gold of the clans is going to Glasgow tomorrow night. And which road are they using? The back road through Balderknock. Aye, I can it well. And Jamie said to tell you, they'll have a strong mounted guard. So take care, young Hamish. always was, as you'd know if you had the manners to look. I hear you put the rents up again. If you can't pay, get out and good riddance. But? No buts. Next. What's that? Oh, don't you know it? And you're grim. <laughs> it's a sweet little heel and air call. Up with the Campbells and down with the Grahams. Of course I know it, you old hag. Arrest whoever's playing that dreadful music. I think they play it very well. Silence! Rob Roy. You're right for once, Graham of Killian. Good afternoon, Mary. You're a bunny sight, Rob Roy. Are you doing well, dear? Oh, well, times are hard, but I expect things will pick up this very afternoon. I understand you put the rents up. 
Did you learn nothing from the Goodson felon? Don't you lay a hand on me, Rob Roy. The escort will be here any minute to take the money safe to his grace. You'd better flee while you can. I believe the escort's a wee bit buzzy down the road away. So I'll have to keep the money safe for his grace, in case the hobgoblins come after you. I reckon I can slice your gizzard before you pull the trigger. What do you think? Aye, that's better. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Every tenant is going to get a full receipt and 50% refund. But the Duke will be furious. Why, it's not his money. This is part of what they call reparation for the burning of Inversnaid and all the property you stole. Write Mary of Dryman's receipt first. Where are you taking me? Since you've no money, I'll have you, and we'll see how much Montrose will pay to save your hide. Oh, no. I beg you, leave me be. Montrose will never pay a ransom. I know it. Then you'll have a fine view of a law, Catherine, as you swing from a branch of its tallest tree. <laughs> it's lovely at this time of year. Stop! Your name is Rob Roy. Put your hands up. That's right, Una. Pull it in. Good girl. A letter from Montrose. And then he says, Enough's enough. Let's make peace. I admit I misjudged you, and as a result, maybe did you wrong. <laughs> well, maybe. Anyway, it's costing me too much money to fight you, so I'll meet you alone and pay what you demand. If you just bring back my faithful servant unharmed, and then let's pledge to fight no more, Rob Roy, and I'll give you my hand on it. Signed, James Graham, Duke of Montrose. <laughs> well, what do you say to that? You can't trust a Graham. Uh, it's a chance for peace. It might be a trap. The thing that convinces me that he means what he says is the complaint of the pain in his pocket. <laughs> it has a strong ring of the truth. Oh, Rob. <laughs> Tricks, Montrose. I may be alone, but I'm not unarmed. I'm not even armed, MacGregor. Here's your money. Now, let's make an end to all our troubles. Shall we shake hands? Or will you send Graham of Killian to collect his own ransom for being so careless? <laughs> Here, Killian! You're an even bigger fool than I thought, MacGregor. You didn't even bring reinforcements. I gave my word and accepted yours. Do you mean to break it? <laughs> <laughs> but I'd already given my word to have your hide, Rob Roy. When I fulfill that pledge, you and I'll be at peace. Take him alive if you can, Sergeant. I'll take at least ten of you with me. Then shoot him like a dog. A fast moves a dead man. Drop your weapons. So it seems you don't keep your word, MacGregor. He trusted you, Montrose, but we didn't he? So now we'll take you and see how much ransom Graham of Calan can pay to get you back, if he wants you. I think not. Show yourself, Duncan McRae. <laughs> children unharmed, and you have my word. You'll go free and safe. I never take the word of a McGregor. And I doubt you'll risk the wee beards. You're too soft. You're a dead man, McCree. Hold it, Hamish. 
Montrose! Hi, McGregor! If I surrender, the children go free. There'll be no bloodshed. Do you agree? Aye, I do. You can't trust him, Rob. We have no alternative. So once again, Rob Roy saved Una and me from the clutches of Duncan McCree. the fords of Fru. Rob knew he was in desperate trouble with the hangman's noose awaiting him at Stirling Castle. But with all those guards on his hands so tightly bound, there seemed no hope of escape. Rob! Jamie! You shouldn't be beat on such a night. You could catch your death. <laughs> I've been near all the time. I even had my musket on Montrose. And a few other children had been harmed. He was a dead man. Ah, oh, you're a good lad, Jimmy Stewart. Get ready as we go down the bank to the ford. I'll cut your bonds. With all this rain, the river should be swollen enough so you could accidentally fall off your horse and swim away. Watch the prisoner! I saw the McGregors up among the trees. I'll let it go night up. That young man has courage. What's his name? Uh, uh, not Stuart, surely. Well, is it? Don't you know your own troops, man? Ah, it's, uh, it's Stuart, your grace. All clear, your grace. Not a McGregor in sight. Well done, Stuart. That young man deserves a promotion, Killian. Ah, you hear that, McGregor? You're on your own. to you, Rob, for your courage and loyalty. Montrose has a great deal of power, but you beat him at every turn. To the McGregors! As you know, I'm a general in the British Army, and the government owes me a favour or two. Now, next week, I have an audience with His Majesty, and I'll be seeking a pardon for you, Rob. In the meantime, you and your people can shelter from Montrose on my land. <laughs> So great was the rage of James Graham, Duke of Montrose, at Rob Roy's escape, that even as Argyle was promising to help the MacGregor, he'd already journeyed south to an audience with King George at Hampton Court to plead for assistance in capturing the audacious outlaw. Wouldn't it be cheaper to repair Hadrian's Wall? Let the barbarians keep Scotland. Who wants it anyway? But, sire, you have thousands of loyal tax-paying subjects in Scotland. Tax? What? Tax? 
<laughs> the tax money you promised never arrived? Stolen by Rob Roy, your majesty. Is it so? Well, that's different. How many men do you want? Who is it? Quick, we better hide. It's Graham of Kalyan. Morning, McRae. Is it safe to talk here? This is McGregor country, you know. I can that. That's why we're here. They'd never expect you and me to meet beside Loch Lomond, would they now? Hmm. Since it's a private conversation we're having, let's use this wee cave. Well, Killian, you wanted to see me, here I am. You are indeed. Well, now, His Grace wants you to help ambush Rob Roy. Yeah? You'll need an army of redcoats to catch that one. Well, we won't have that. But we will have our own men and the element of surprise. But the problem is the Duke of Argyle has extended his protection to the clan Gregor. So all the cowards, including Rob Roy, are hiding on his lands. <sighs> What do you want me to do? Chase thundering numbskulls into your trap? There's a small glen just below Benvraki where we'll be waiting. Now, if you laid your hands on those McAllister children, Rob Roy would follow you fair across Scotland to rescue them. <gasps> Did you hear something? Eh? Ah, uh, just rats. So, when do you want to finish the McGregors? The sooner the better, I'd say. Do you think they heard us? Every word. Those frightened little children are going to lead Rob Roy straight into our trap. <laughs> Duncan McRae is after me. Now, don't worry. You two are going to stay at Argyle Castle till this is all over. He's in England seeing the king. But there's no reason we shouldn't give Montrose's face one last slap. <laughs> and put an end to Duncan McRae for good. Thanks to you brave children, we have plenty of time. <laughs> Majesty, I come to beg a pardon for one of your innocent subjects who has been unjustly accused. Yeah? Who? Rob Roy McGregor, Your Majesty. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Nay, sire, I beg yours. But, what's that name? Rob Roy McGregor, Your Majesty. <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah? Well, I have given his graceful the Duke of Mangus and company from Fusiliers with which to hunt up and wipe out this break and rub rye. You have his majesty's orders, Captain Clifford. If Rob Roy is not killed in the fight, he's to be executed immediately upon capture. There's to be no chance of escape. I don't like it, Your Grace. It's not the honourable thing to do. You don't have to like it, Clifford. Just do your duty. Oh, come, Jamie. Let's inspect the men. It's rare to find a man with your courage, Jamie. That's why I made you captain of the guard. But I've even better things in mind for you. Graham McLean's getting too old for the job. Fancy letting himself be captured by Rob Roy. But as soon as the McGregor's dead and buried, we'll talk about your future. Positions, everyone. They're coming. Whist, lad. Careful, you wouldn't know what to want, would you? Right. 
Let's prepare a welcome for his graceless grace, the Duke of Montrose and the dirty Duncan McRae. Enough, McGregor, you're under arrest. Let down your arms or you're dead. just knew when to stop fighting. He would never spill blood for no good purpose and would do anything to save those he loved, including sacrificing himself. Right, Captain. Do your duty. Execute the prisoner, Rob Roy McGregor. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I can't follow that order. It's not the custom for British regiments to execute prisoners who've surrendered as ordered. That's the King's command. With all due respect, I only have your word for that. Sir, isn't my word good enough for you? It's nay good enough for anybody, you lion, thieving murderer. A hundred guineas for the man who kills him. I'll do it. You. I. You're lucky it wasn't you. Order them to lay down their arms, or it will be you! Now! Will you release me, uh, <clears throat> us, if I do? Aye, I give my word. You hear that, Captain Clifford? Order your troops to lay down their arms, and... Rob Roy will let us all go free. I'm sorry, sir. I have my orders. Damn your orders, do as you say! I'm gonna follow my marksman and pick you off, McGregor. Then the Duke and I will die together. Do you play chess, McGregor? Aye. But what's a Duke worth? This one's worth sweet Fanny McAdams if we don't walk out free. I quite understand. Since the Duke's your prisoner, that leaves me as commanding officer. I refuse to order my men to lay down their arms. But if you release the Duke, we'll march out of here and leave you and your men free. If I release him, you'll no longer be commanding officer. Let me go, McGregor, and I give you my word. Shut up. Your Grace, if I am to get you out of here alive, I must have your irrevocable promise that I'll remain in command of this company until we make contact with other British forces. Do you agree? I... Oh, I do, I do. Mr. McGregor, I never break my word. If you release his Grace, we'll leave. And I promise there'll be no treachery. Will you trust me? I... I trust you, Clifford. Forces, Captain Clifford. <laughs> You're no longer in command. Now I'll execute the renegade. One twitch in your history. I'll have you caught, marshaled Captain Clifford. Sir. Your new orders from His Majesty. You'll place your company at my disposal. Understood? Yes, sir. Well... It seems I got here in the nick of time. Only one casualty, and I doubt he'll be much mourned. I want this man arrested and charged with murder, mutiny, threatening his commanding officer, and then hanged. What if he's found not guilty? Perhaps you'd better wait till you hear my news. I have some good news and some bad news. By order of His Majesty King George, etc., etc., all members of the clan Gregor are hereby pardoned for any crimes done or deemed to be done to this date. In particular, the chief of the clan, Rob Roy McGregor. <laughs> What's the good news? <laughs> the other.
other news, sir, is that His Majesty orders you to report immediately to him at Hampton Court. Some might think that's good news, but I doubt you will. Captain Clifford, escort the Duke of Montrose to Hampton Court to await His Majesty's pleasure. The rest of you are free men! was feasting and rejoicing in the MacGregor camp that night. And from that day forward, the Duke of Montrose gave them no more trouble. Rob Roy was chief of the clan for many years to come and led them into lots of adventures, which is only what you'd expect from such a hero. Let's be on our way to drive the cattle down to the lowlands. Who oh, there, MacGregorus? Lay down your arms or suffer the consequences. If there's a man among you, come down and meet a better one. Careful, Rob. Take cover. On your feet, men. <laughs> Alpine, play us a tune. Oh, goodness me, men, look. It's his grace, the Duke of Argyle. If I'd known, I'd have been more respectful. I have to admit, Rob, there's no fooling you. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little poaching, your grace. Oh, this is Montrose country. Poaching, oh, MacGregor, nonsense. This is one of my beasts. Just chased it over the boundary. Oh, and doesn't that happen to us all the time, Hamish? <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well for you, Rob. Oh, they're getting better, no doubt about it. As kind of you to ask. Thought they must be after seeing your man MacDonald enjoying the fruits of his labour in Glasgow. Indeed, things must be a lot better. <laughs> Him, your grace. Do you not know how to knock, man? Sorry. Thought you'd want to know. Rob Roy's returned from Glasgow and come to report the loss of your money. Ah, uh, so my plan's working. Show him in and leave us. I'll talk to him man to man. Never! That's treachery! <laughs> And McGregor never betrays his friends. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. You're looking tired. Did you get your pay, dear? Oh. <laughs> What's the matter, Mrs. Stewart? Graham of Killearn told me if we don't pay our rent today, we'll be evicted and lose our lease. Well, now, Jamie's in the Duke's service. Have you no money? Killearn fined me my first month's pay. Oh, he's an evil man. But what can we do? Here, yeah, this'll pay your rent. But I don't know when I can repay you. Don't worry. <laughs> since last night. Don't argue with me, soldier. Stuart, isn't it? James Stuart? Uh, yes, sir. No, sir. Uh, that is, I am Stuart, but I wasn't arguing. Just... I've no time to waste with you. His grace, the Duke of Montrose, awaits me. 
you're fined a month's pay. Now stand guard. <laughs> Here, Your Grace. Enter. You have the gold of the clams? Aye, Your Grace. All locked safely in the bullion wagon, and the guard in the inner stables. I have the only keys. Give me them. Good. When the time comes, we'll send the king his, uh, <laughs> share. What are you going to do about the Duke of Argyle? I don't know. His family, the Campbells and mine, the Grahams, have been enemies for generations. When King George makes him chief minister for Scotland, he'll be collecting the taxes. Aye, uh, which means he'll soon find out how much we've been keeping to cover expenses. Can't you turn the king against him? What do you think I've been working at, man? What if we could prove that Argyle's plotting against his majesty? <laughs> Impossible. Not if we had Rob Roy testify against him. Don't be stupid. The Red MacGregor had never betray his friend the Campbell. His own mither was one. That's why the king would believe him. Every man has his price. <laughs> Not Rob Roy. Perhaps he'll do it for nothing. Just a wee loan that'd be repaid with interest. Ah. Uh. You have a plan in that sneaky head of yours, eh, Killairn? Aye, Your Grace, I do with that. And it involves a man, Bruce MacDonald. MacDonald? Never! He's Rob Roy's friend and chief drover. Yes, and his young brother's down in your dungeon right this very minute. Poaching deer was his crime, I recall. <laughs> Gregor, here's my hand on it. And here's mine, Your Grace. So now, His Grace, the Duke will invest £1,000 in your skill in buying and selling cattle. As soon as we've completed the paperwork. What paperwork? I've given my hand on it. I can that, Robbie, but... Well, we've just got to keep up with the times. Oh, sign the silly wee bit of paper and be done with it. <laughs> My home, my house and land are in Vesnaid. It's only a security, McGregor. His Christ doesn't want your poor house. <laughs> he already has this fine castle and a grand house in Glasgow. And don't forget, Robbie, half the profit's yours. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> this bonny morning. Uh, good day to you, Rob. I've been expecting you. Do come in. Congratulations. So, you've got into partnership with His Grace, the Duke of Montrose. We have, Bruce. And since it's his money, I suppose we can trust him. Now, I want you to take the money and head up to Inverness. You can all Angus McFay. Aye, that I do. He's got a great herd of fine beef and a desperate shortage of money. We'll take the lot. Now, Rob, this is all the Duke's money, not a penny of your own. That's the only way I'd ever go into business with that scheming miser. But half the profit will be ours. Why? What's worrying you? Oh, nothing. Now, I'll follow in a couple of days with the rest of the men to drive the cattle down to the lowlands. This is just the chance we've been waiting for, isn't it? Aye, it's an opportunity not to be missed, right enough. What's the matter, man? Cheer up! We're going to get rich! It's all 
Not, not a penny less. Now, where's my brother? Take this and go to Glasgow for a few days. Enjoy yourself like a rich man. Make sure folks know who you are. Then disappear. Get out of Scotland before Rob Roy finds you, and don't come back. Or I'll be after you too. Where's my brother? Send me a letter from London, and I'll set him free. You have my word on it. Rob Roy! McGregor! McGregor! Come on, Rob Roy! I warned you! You're a brave man, Duncan McRae, attacking unarmed children takes real courage. <laughs> I knew you would hide in there, Black McGregor. Just wanted to draw you out so I could finish you off. No! Look out, Rob! Oh. <laughs> McGregor, McGregor! Rob, Roy, McGregor! <laughs> It's lovely weather for this time of year, don't you think, Amy? Aye, Rob, but is it not? <laughs> what do you think, McCree? Doesn't this bonny weather make you feel good? Just to be alive! <laughs> All right, you two, on your feet and over with the rest. Are quick about it. Snivelling McCrae's, off with your footwear. Oh, away! What's that dreadful stench? Throw them in the river, Colin. Oh, you'll kill the poo wee fishes. <laughs> Don't you, McCrae's, ever wash? <laughs> All right, you villains. Face the rock with your hands behind your backs. Tie their hands, children. What this, Rob? Use their belts. <laughs> if I ever catch any of you near here again, you'll sing Old Lang Syne for the last time. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> It's a pity you've no respect for the pipes. Fancy crushing the lads, Chanter, with your great clumsy hooves. Perhaps this'll teach you some manners. <laughs> you need a good scrub. Watch out for the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland's a bonny country. But when I was a lad, it was a dangerous one. That was early in the 18th century, just after the English put George I on the throne and the Stuarts lost their crown forever. Noblemen fought each other to win the new king's favour and brigands roamed the countryside, ready to take your money or your life, or both. But let me introduce myself. I'm Colin McAllister. Uh, that's me there, the handsome young fellow playing the chanter. Uh, that 
That's my sister, Una. <laughs> She's not too bad. What a girl. And that's Loch Lomond you can see over there. <laughs> Just look at them. Two wee bims and that lovely herd of cattle. You think we're men enough to take that off them? <laughs> so you've been looking after me cattle, eh? Very good, they are. They're not yours. They are now. <laughs> I know you. You're Duncan McCrae. You touch one head of those cattle, and you'll feel the thrust of Rob Roy's claymore. <laughs> oh, look! You drop your chanter. Pick it up, lad. <gasps> oh, did I accidentally break it? Rob Roy gave that to me, and he'll make you pay for it. Rob Roy's far away in the North Country. And anyway, you'll not be telling him who took my cow, will you now? Course we'll tell him. You'll not have a moment's peace, Duncan McCrae. Oh, oh, I know I can trust you to keep your mouth shut, because I'm going to shut up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Run, Luna, run. Oh, oh, oh. Fetch the McGregors as fast as you can. Oh, Colin, it's a kill. 